Hello everyone and welcome to Facebook Live with Guinness World Records. My name is Marawa and today we are here in Melbourne, Australia with Felix Zemdegs, the world record holder for many world records to do with Rubik's Cubes. Including solving a three... That's the main one, right? The main one is the, the standard three, the by three Rubik's Cube. Yes. Yeah. And you have the world record for solving that. Uh, for the average solve time. Average solve time. Yeah. And what is that? Um, so my average at the moment is 6.45 seconds. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. We are going to be here for a minute, so if you've got any questions for Felix, just start sending them in. We're going to answer them. We have Ashley over here who is going to relay your questions back to us. Have we got any other Rubik's Cube fans out there or experts that want to maybe challenge? So how does it work? Is there, is there, do you always do it the same way? Is there a formula? Um, so you're using sort of the same fundamental method to solve it each time. So for me, I use sort of four basic steps to solve a cube, mm -hmm. but uh, it's different every time because there's literally trillions and trillions, quadrillions, quintillions of <laughs> combinations of a yeah. Rubik's Cube. So, so it's the same process each time, but it's different each time, if that makes any sense. So if I go like this, yeah. Yeah. can you fix it? Yeah. Although you, you didn't mess it up very well. <laughs> so, can you, you, didn't, you didn't mess it up. This is three <laughs> seconds faster than I managed to that mess was, it up. Uh, That's crazy. Mess it up. All right, all right. right. I'm, I'm going to mess this up for a while. I'm going to mess this up for a while. So tell me, how long have you been doing this for? Uh, I've been doing it for eight and a half years. So I started at the start of high school. And how old are you now? Uh, 20. So that's like nearly half your life. Yep. That's crazy. Yep. Yep. And mm -hmm. how, how soon did you work out? Like, did you have to spend ages, like, being like, oh, this, I can't get it right? Or was it just like... Did it have um, so I learned initially from a YouTube tutorial, which is where the majority of people... Was it the wrap? Was it the Rubik's Cube wrap? No, no, no. I tried to learn with the wrap, and I couldn't. Have you seen it? I think I've seen it. You, right? <laughs> it's, it should be good. I was like, if I can learn the song, but no. No, no, no. <laughs> I think you want something more, I like more structured. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so basically, uh, I kind of cheated in that. I didn't really try it too much by myself before yeah. looking up a tutorial. Yeah. Um, some people, you know, they like to try and work out a layer or a couple of layers by themselves before consulting a tutorial, but yeah. I, think, you know, I just want to solve it. Straight in. Um, All right. Going in. Anyone out there with any questions for Felix, we are here live in Melbourne with Guinness World Records and we are doing Rubik's Cube solving with the world record holder for Rubik's Cube solving. Right. Is it? Oh, it's happening. Ready? Yep. Right. Three, two, one, go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! And it's done! Just like that. Yep. It kind of goes from looking very messed up to mm -hmm. that last little bit and then... Yeah, so the, the thing with that is, for example, if you get to a state where you know, you've nearly solved it, but yep. you've just got a few pieces to go, something like that, yep. you kind of have to go backwards to go forwards. You can't... you have to mess this up More. to solve it. Like when you're cleaning your room. Like it's always... it gets yeah, messier sort of. before it gets cleaner. Yeah, so it all kind of comes together See, at the end. I understand this. Ashley, have you got any questions for us? Okay. Yes, Trinity wants to know when you started doing Rubik's Cubes. Yeah. Yeah. How old were you again? I saw I was 12 when I, when I first started. First learned how to solve it. Amazing. Good one, Trinity. Where are you from? Where, where are we getting... Have we got anyone in Melbourne? Is anyone awake out here? It's early for some of us. <laughs> no one's saying locations yet. No locations. We must have... I'm sure we got... Start sending them in. We're here. We're going to be here for a minute. So send in any questions, any other um, things you have for Felix here. So, okay. So that's the three... That's the three. But what else yeah. is there? There's some amazing... Do you want to come and have a look at some of these? There's mm -hmm. all kinds of amazing... What's this one? Um, so, yeah, in competitions, they've got, you know, events... The, the standard Rubik's Cube, and then you've got bigger, bigger puzzles and other different events. So this is, if you have a look closely, it's a 6x6x6 six by six by six Rubik's Cube. And what's this one? And that's a 7x7x7 seven by seven by seven Rubik's that's Cube. That's crazy. That's, that's the biggest one that they do but in what, competitions. And then, and then, hang on, I saw this here before. What yep. is that? So that's called a Pyramix. It's, it's, it just has four sides on it. Now, it was actually invented before the Rubik's Cube. This is um, bonkers. And then, and then I yep. asked you this before, which I'm, someone needs to get to the bottom of this. Who is Mr. Rubik's? Um, so he was, a, he was a professor of architecture yeah. at a, a university in Hungary. Yeah. And then he um, designed the cube as sort of a teaching tool for his students. And yeah. then it kind of took off and exploded into pop culture. And he's still alive, still living in yes. Hungary. Does he have a Facebook page? Does anybody know Professor Rubik's? Is he out there? Uh, he's, he's a bit of a recluse. Is he? I have, I know a couple of people who have met him and heard stories and stuff, but I haven't met him myself. Amazing. All right, what is that? Because that looks yeah, so this truly... One's, this one's a Mega Minx. Uh, it's essentially just a 12-sided version of the Rubik's Cube. 
Um, so you've got how do you, yeah. So you got the same sort of pieces, but it's just got twelve sides. Oh my on. goodness! So you can like mess it up in yeah. all. Whoa. Mm. What about that? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that one. That one. Yeah, this yeah. one takes a while to mess up. Okay, amazing. And the other thing that I really love. Can you talk us through what's this happening over here? Um, oh, so this is. I just guess one of the one of the trophies I pulled down from on top of my cupboard. Um, this was from the 2015 World Championship. Um, for one of the events. The, Everyone, we, we are live in Melbourne here with Felix De Demzeg, the world Zemdegs. <laughs> Zemdegs, I've been practicing that. Zemdegs, yeah. who is the world record. How, you've got eight world records. Yeah, yeah. For Roots Cube related records here in Melbourne, Australia, with Guinness World Records, and we are live on Facebook. So if you've got any questions for Felix, please send them through. Ashley, have you got a couple there? Yes, Hassan wants to know what your minimum time is. Um, so, in terms of single fastest sold, uh, in competition, I have a 5.32 second solve, which is currently ranked, I think it's 6th in the world. Um, and That's then very quick. At home, my best is 3.52 seconds. <laughs> when there's no pressure. Yeah. yeah, and it was kind of lucky as well. <laughs> and at home, you get, you know, thousands of solves, whereas in competition, you only get 5 solves each round. Yes, and this is not your, this is not like the regulation, this is, this moves quite easily. Yeah. So, yeah. I know you've got a special little box over here, what's, what's this? Uh, oh, so these, <laughs> this is the box of like lubricants that you could, I guess, put in your cubes to make them turn, yeah. a, turn a bit faster. What, like how much do you put in there? Oh, do you just, just like one drop. That's two, it. Two and drops. Then... Yeah, then it's, it's kind of done. And do you have to keep doing it? Uh, I actually don't do it too often. Um, actually, that one hasn't been... Nothing? You know, has no lubricant in it at all. Amazing. That's just out of the box. How many factory. Rubik's cubes do you think you own? Um, so I've got these ones here, which are kind of just like the ones I have in my room. This is good. What's this one? Uh, yeah, that's uh... <laughs> what is that? I can't solve that one. <laughs> <laughs> Should it be this shape? Uh, when it's solved, it'll be just a cube shape. Oh my so the, goodness. The aim is to solve it from this random mess into just a, a cube that shape. Is... And it's called a ghost cube. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, so you have a record also for solving this this guy, right? The seven by seven? Yeah. 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 So I'm gonna ask everyone out there how how long do you think it takes Felix to solve the seven by seven, knowing how many seconds is this? Uh, so on average, six or seven. An average six or seven seconds, but this one's got to be a lot more complicated, I would say. Exponential. Okay, there you go. So if, if people want to start guessing, we're going to tell you in a little bit, but send through your guesses. How long do you think it takes Felix to solve the seven by seven cube there? And what's right. the prize? Um, the prize is going to be that we will tell everyone that you can win. <laughs> Um, any more questions? Yes, so many have come through. Okay, hit us up. Go, go, go. Adam wants to know how many you, uh, how many Rubik's cubes you've solved in total? Do you think? How many different, how many solves I've done ever? Total. Oh, that's a, that's how a really hard question. How many do you do a day? Question. You must be doing. Yeah. Uh, so on a standard Rubik's cube, daily average, fifty, uh, give or take. That's a lot. That's Multiply like, by a number that's of... That's like hundreds and hundreds of thousands, for sure. Multiply by, yeah, number of years, number of days in the year. Have you ever, as someone who was desperate, like, do you, have you ever peeled a sticker off? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you have to peel the stickers off if you want to change the stickers okay. off. Yes, <laughs> but, you, but not out of frustration. Yeah, it's way too slow. <laughs> what else? Uh, Jaden wants to know how long you spend daily on Ruby's oh, yes. Yes. Um So when I first started in, at the start of high school, I had obviously lots and lots of time throughout the first few years, so I would be obsessed with it. You know, spend a lot of my weekends just doing it, coming home from school, you know, and just you know, spend two or three hours each night practicing. Now, I kind of have less time, so I have to balance everything. So before a competition, in the couple of weeks leading up, I might go you know, one, one and a half hours. Normally, probably 30 or 45 minutes on average each day, but some days I do nothing, some days I'll do more. Do you do it on like the bus or the train, do you sit there? No, no, no. I, just kind of, I, leave it, I leave it at home. Yeah. Always at home. Yeah. Okay, we've got any guesses coming through? <laughs> oh, so many. All right, what have we got? Everywhere from three seconds up until five minutes. Wowzers. Right. Yeah. Who else, who have we got? What, what are they saying? All right, Alan says 12 seconds, Diane says five seconds. No, no. for this one, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. They don't know Diane, what they're talking it's six, about. It's six seconds for this one, Diane, and this, one, this one's got seven, seven. No, what else? Jake reckons 40 seconds. Uh, we got Daryl says two point one seconds. Very <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. And then what? All other questions that we got. Do we want to 
Do you want to give him the answer? No, not yet, not yet. We're going to leave him in suspense a little bit longer. We are live in Melbourne with Guinness World Records here on Facebook Live, and we are interviewing Felix Demzegs, who has the world... Did I, get it? I did it again, didn't I? That's okay. I... Zemdegs. Felix Zemdegs. Z-E-M-D-E-G-S. Yeah. I, mean, I, I know how to spell it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who's a world record holder, multiple world record holder for Rubik's Cube solving. All kinds of combinations, all types of Rubik's Cubes. We've got... Uh, three by three, as it's known, we have, where's the five? The five by five, is this one? This is the five, uh, to me it always looks like more than five, but, oh yeah, no. there we go. Do you want to look at this? Mess it up? Yep. Do you want to mess it up? Just okay, to, all right, all right. Just so there's no, nothing starts going on. Yeah. I can't even, I can't, I can't even mess, I can't even imagine trying to solve it. The, the, I don't like the colours of this one as much. Oh, look, you can write things because it's got so many... Hmm. You could make, like, little letter patterns in there. All right. All right. So if you want to do some commentary, I'll so have a go So he's going to just do a little... So you basically, you, like, memorise a pattern. Mm -hmm. Is that what happens? Oh, no, not really. So I kind of... The first thing that I'm doing on this yeah. solve is kind of trying to build this... So yellow kind of centre. Squares in the middle. So right. I'm building from the inside out. Okay. So I'll build that yellow. Strong foundation. Yeah. And then what I'll do is build the corresponding white centre. Oh. And just then, like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, so amazing. One. So then I've got all these sort of centres. Amazing. And then what I do is go and work on the edges. Um, so that's building... The corners. So things like this. Oh. So pairing like these three up, basically. Are you really good at math? Uh, I'm okay. I'm not like anything super special. What are you studying at university? I'm doing economics and engineering. Mm. Yeah. Engineering sounds like the right thing, looking at this. <laughs> um, where are we? Some more questions in there, Ashley? So many questions coming through. A lot of people want to know, Chad and Alan and a lot of other people want to know if you can do it with a blindfold. Uh, yes, I can, uh, but that's not really... My specialty. I don't really practice that event very much. That's so. a record, though, right? There is uh, a record. There is a there. There is a record for that. Yeah. Um, what about this one? Behind the back, blindfolded. Same <laughs> same sort of thing, I guess. Uh, That's just more awkward. Yeah. 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 Um, Can you do sorry, it? Sorry, that one's a bit slow. Um, <laughs> slow. That was a slow one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Amazing. Um, German okay. German Vilches wants to know what you think the hardest cube to solve is. The hardest cube to solve. <laughs> this um, <laughs> of, of the ones that I have here, that one for sure. Crazy. Oh, there's a weird one. Where it's is so it? pretty though. Um, Beautiful. This one's, this one's kind of weird. So this is like a Rubik's cube. It's called a square one. It's kind of like a Rubik's cube, except it changes <gasps> shape a bit like that. Whoa. So I didn't really mess it up there, but just oh to give you a goodness. sense of yeah. And this one's so quite, quite tricky to figure out. brother was making an amazing breakfast out there. Is he also good at Rubik's Cube? Uh, he's learned how to solve it, but doesn't really, doesn't really. So do it's not a family thing. You're not all sitting there at the dinner no, table. No, no, no. no. okay. Just, just the one. <laughs> amazing. Um, any more questions out there, Russell? You got, uh, Harley wants to know what method you use to solve. Yep. So the method that I use... Sounds like a fellow Cuba. Lots <laughs> some more Cubas out there. We are live in Melbourne with Guinness World Record. Um, we are interviewing Felix here, who is a, is a, is a Cuba. It's a, that's how you say yeah, it, Yeah, Cuba, right? a speed Cuba. A speed Cuba. Um, and also has many world records. So, yeah, what, what type of... What's, so what's the method? The method that I use and the method that most you know, top speed Cubas use is called the CFOP method, which is just an acronym, uh, which stands for CROSS, F2L, OLL, PLL, which is actually more acronyms within the acronym, but <laughs> it's basically breaking the solve down into four different steps. Um, Is that building, building, about? building from the bottom upwards. Uh, but yeah, it's called CFOP is the method that I use. Amazing. And we've got all these beautiful, I'm really into the trophies. The trophies are fabulous. Mm -hmm. I really like the shapes. This is great. Where was this from? That was the, <laughs> in Thailand, the Asian Championships in 2010, just a, a novelty check, I think. A novelty chair. It's <laughs> always a, it's a great thing. Yeah. That is beautiful. Right. So, I have a friend who also does a Rubik's Cube in a cabaret show, and he can solve a Rubik's Cube. I'm trying to think what he does. I think he takes all his clothes off at the same time. That's his special skill. <laughs> I'm not going to try that one today. But I thought maybe, given that I've got all the world records for hula hooping, that we would try to see if we can get you to 
solve a Rubik's Cube whilst hula hooping. Are you yeah. up for this? Yes. Yeah, okay, brilliant. Okay, good. <laughs> Any more questions before we head outside and try this one? Uh, so we've got, oh, a school in New Zealand is watching. The whole class is watching. Oh, New, New Zealand! Cool. Yeah, hi, so hi, hi. Tony Grace from New Zealand. And the students would like to know, ah, questions that have already been answered, but that's all right, we'll tell them again. Uh, how old are you and how old are you were when you started solving? Yes, I'm, I'm 20 years old now and I started when I was 12, so I've been doing it for eight and a half years. We need to get you to the school in New Zealand. They need to practice. They need mm -hmm. to learn. Where, where should someone start? Like YouTube. That's, yeah, just, just yeah. literally just go onto YouTube. And, and you like, have a channel that has like... Uh, I do, but I haven't uploaded tutorials, tutorials. per se. I'm more mm -hmm. just like uploaded solves. I'll, I have like some more advanced stuff. Yeah. But if you just go on YouTube or Google, just type in Rubik's Cube uh, tutorial. There's millions of results. Fabulous. Any more questions out there for us? Yes. Uh, we've got... Hugo Molina wants to know when you started thinking about breaking world records, when that became your goal. Right. Um, I don't know if there was a specific moment. I guess when I, when I started, you know, learned how to solve it, I just basically just got addicted and wanted to solve and solve and just try and get faster and faster. And then gradually I kind of realised that, you know, my times were getting, were getting close to those Record times. Near, the top, near the top in the world. And in the first ever competition we held in Australia at the start of 2010, I was... I guess lucky enough to get the to break the average world record, um, but I guess I don't know. Yeah, probably like six months before then, I kind of realised okay, I have a legitimate chance at that, and can, can try and beat it. How many do you have to do to get the average? So each uh, each round in a competition, you do five solves, uh -huh. and they take they remove the best and the worst, yeah, and they take the average of the middle three, and that's yeah, interesting. Uh, what like that's guess, how they work it out. That's yeah. That's and this works. guy. The stack stack map. Mm -hmm. Tell me how this works. So this is the timing, the timer they use in competitions. Um, basically, you put your hands on the sensors, and then when you're ready to start your solve, you take your hands off, do your solve, and then when you're finished, stop the timer. Are these all the stickers from frustrated Rubik's Cube? Oh uh, yeah, I just took, off? took these off, <laughs> off another cube. And put them I on. saw one when I was looking at at, um, at one of the shops that you can get ones with like custom stickers with like. Halloween stickers and yeah, you can get all sorts of stuff anything. like yeah, random logo cubes. Have you got one with your face like on it? Have you uh, got a photo one? Come on. Photo one. Oh, uh, maybe. Uh, maybe in not there. Yet. <gasps> we are here live with Facebook with Guinness World Records, and we are interviewing Felix here, who has a world record for many different Rubik's cube records. Um, we are about to go outside and do a hula hooping Rubik's cube challenge. Mm -hmm. So if anyone has any more questions, oh, we should actually tell them because a lot of people. We're putting in uh, guesses. How long? Um, so the world record for that one is currently two minutes and twenty seconds. Whoa, that's so much more than this, right? The yeah. three, because the yeah. three is like six. Do you think? I mean, this does look way more complicated. Mm -hmm. Do you think it will get much faster? Do you think there's room for the records to get uh, quicker? Yeah, I think there's. I think there's definitely room. Like if you ask someone, you know, five years ago, if anyone could ever solve that in under three minutes, they would probably say no. No way. And then now it's like, okay, can someone do it in under two minutes? Um, mm, interesting. Yeah, there's still a bit of room for What's, records. To how young do people start? It really varies. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of younger kids mm. but at the same time. Yeah, I would say most, most of the cubing, the people who go to competitions, particularly in Australia and America, are probably, yeah. yeah, under sort of 15 years old, but then you get older guys who do it. And Amazing. Most of the top, top guys are probably between sort of 15 and 21. Wowzers, this is crazy. You need to start young to like... Oh yeah, to, early, to practice. Yeah, yeah, like an acrobat. Go yeah. start training early. All right, any more questions in there, Ashley? I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Class B03 from the Philippines. Oh, Philippines! Amazing, we're everywhere. Who else have we got out there? Have we got any other people? We've covered uh, New Zealand, we've covered the Philippines. Hi, Philippines! How's the weather? Is it, it must be hot. Is it raining? It's hot. It must be hot there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know, class. What is it, class B? B03. B03. What's the weather like? What's the weather like? Have we got any Rubik's Cube champions in the classroom there? Maybe we can do like an online battle with someone. Mm -hmm. That would be fun. All right, we're going to head outside. I'm going to give you that hoop. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take my hoop. Let's go. Let's go and see uh, what's happening. If we can do this. Maybe. Let's see. All right. So... The challenge is, oh yeah, can I, can I mess it up? Yep. Alright, I'm going to mess this up. Someone should time this. Felix is going to, do you want to have a practice? 
No, I think I'm good. You're feeling, you're feeling confident? Yeah. Yeah. Should be okay. All right. <laughs> concentrate on both things. Yeah, it, it, it might take a couple of goes, but let's see. I have faith in you. All right. There is your messed up Rubik's Cube. Mm -hmm. Doing his little memorization. We are live with Guinness World Records on Facebook here, and we are, I'm here with Felix Zemdegs. Hey, who has, uh, has eight world records for solving Rubik's Cubes in all sorts of different ways, but today he's going to try and do it whilst hula hooping. I'm just going to be like your, you know, support over here. Yeah, sure. I'll do it with you. Let's, right. let's see how he goes. All right. Yeah. No pressure. It's looking good. This is amazing. Oh my goodness, just like that! That was so quick! Yeah. This is fabulous. Cheers. Does that mean that then I'll be able to solve a Rubik's Cube because I'm hula hooping? Uh, Does that, no. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. <laughs> that was so fast. I think that should be a record. I think this could be your ninth. <laughs> I think this could be. I think this could be huge. Sure. All right, let's go back in. Let's. I want to see these. Um, I want to see your your trophy collection again. Mm -hmm. What a champion! That was that was so much better than I thought it was going to be. That was so fast. Have you got anything else you'd like to show us? Um, oh, you can do the, the one-handed solving. Oh yeah, one-handed solving. Always, it's always kind of cool. Um, yeah. I won't try the blindfolded now. It takes, no. takes me a little while and I'm, it's a bit risky. <laughs> um, but if you're interested in seeing blindfolded solves, just once again, just go on YouTube, type in Rubik's Cube blindfolded world record and you'll but, be And this, you reckon amazed. this is as hard as that? Uh, it's, just, it's just blindfolded, just more awkward. It must be more awkward, yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Um, okay, Have so, we got any challenges from people out there? Absolutely. Ooh, not yet. Lots of people from all over the world. Who have we got? What, what we got Canada. We, we got uh, Las Vegas. We got Ooh, Vegas people. Asia, Morocco, over. Vietnam, Mauritius, Amazing. California, Canada. Look at this. This is crazy. Fabulous. All right. This is also. I'm. I also really like these. This is. This is impressive. Mm -hmm. You can't solve this though. No. <laughs> <laughs> Because the colours are, you've got a the red centre and a red centre there, it's not solvable. It's impossible. Yes. This is not true to form. Exactly. This is a lie. It's an impossible state. Duh. Get rid of that. No good. Okay, I want to <laughs> see, so this one, what's this yep. one called again? Uh, the Pyramix. Pyramix. Yep. And how much, oh I see, you can met, oh. Yep. Okay. Just a triangular. What's your, what's your favourite one? Uh, definitely just the classic standard Rubik's Cube. Yeah. Three by three. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. We are here with Facebook Live with Guinness World Records and we are here with Felix who is solving all kinds of crazy Rubik's Cubes for us today. If you've got any questions for him or any comments you'd like to make or you just want to say hi from wherever you are in the world, get in touch in the comments below and we've got Astley here who's reading them out to us, relaying them back. What else have you got for us question wise? We got Noel wants to know what the deal is with doing two at once. Does anyone do that? Is as that impossible? In, as in one in each hand? Uh, so I can't do that. Uh, because, so, I, I solve one-handed with my left hand, so I can do that normally in sort of 12 seconds or so. With my right hand, I've never practiced it, so I get like 40 seconds. Are you left-handed or right-handed? I'm right-handed. Ah. Uh, it's complicated. <laughs> it's complicated? Yeah. But... Do you know more um, about why that is? That's, that's yeah, I, I, can, I can explain it if you yeah, want. Yeah, go on. So, when you're solving, maybe this is a better angle to have. When you're solving the cube with two hands, if you're right-hand dominant, what you'll do is you'll be gripping the cube with your left hand mostly and then you'll be doing a lot of the turning with your right hand and if you want if you're looking to do it one-handed then instead of kind of using your right hand and gripping because that have that'll like mirror everything what you'll do is you keep the same grip with your left hand and instead of turning with your right hand kind of use your pinky to turn so that's why if you're right hand dominant you'll do like one-handed solves with your left hand if that makes sense at all i hope <laughs> Amazing. That's crazy. All so right. are you oh, Damien, yeah. oh. Damien has a massive challenge for you. Uh oh. This Let's one see. is a big uh, this one's getting me thinking a lot. Let's see. Let's see. Damien Resch wants to know, is it possible to solve a Rubik's Cube looking into a mirror? Yeah, it's, it's... <laughs> is it really confusing? <laughs> it's, it's, it's very confusing. Um, oh, have you done it? Uh, yeah, not for a while. <gasps> So you so you're looking. So you're looking at the mirror, yeah. and you're trying to like, okay, your right hand's that one. Yeah. And you want to put that. Yeah. It's, oh. It, it's, yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> but doable, Damien. Yes, you can. Yeah. That is the answer to that question. What else have you got? 
Uh, what else have we got? Arturo, Arturo wants to know how many algorithms you've memorized. Is that a thing that... Yeah, so algorithms are... Uh, I'm going to solve you here. So algorithms are basically transforming a state of a Rubik's Cube into another state. Um, so, hold on. For example, if I have you know this T on the white side, an algorithm that I've learnt is to do these moves, which will transform it into all white. It just went straight away. That was so quick. Yeah. So that was one of the one of the easier algorithms. That's and amazing. Probably learnt around uh, two hundred or three hundred of those for a variety Casual. of different things. But there are some people who've learnt even more. That's crazy. And this, you you go all over the world. Like there's yeah. competitions everywhere. Here and there. Yeah. Yeah. So there's the, the World Cube Association is, I guess, the governing body which runs and manages all the competitions. Do they have uniforms? No, no, it's all, it's all volunteers. Yeah. Um, and basically each weekend around the world, there is somewhere between sort of 10 and 15 Rubik's Cube competitions all in all sorts of different places. Every week? Every week. <gasps> so it's, it's constantly growing. It's huge. About 50% each year. So it's and really do they cool. have like a World Championships? Uh, they have the World Championships every two years. Yeah. Every two years. Yeah. Ah, interesting. That's yeah. amazing. And do you know, have you got fellow Cubers that you're going to shout out that you know around the world? Maybe some uh, are tuning in? There's a lot. Oh, is it very competitive? Oh, no, no, no. Are no, you friends? Every, you... Everyone's, everyone's friends. Oh, yeah, good. It, it's competitive, but it's oh, all friendly nice. friendly competition. Um, do you swap notes? I'm not, I'm not going to single them. Shout no. out everyone. <laughs> Just everyone. Yeah, or, and yeah. yeah like, like I say, we do kind of swap notes and techniques and stuff. No one's secretive or hides any of their information. That's so nice. that's, that's really nice. And do you have like, do you, if you develop a certain one, like do you name it? Like are there names for different... Yeah, people name like methods after Have you got one? Have you got a no, method? No, no, no. no? Are you working on one? Uh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we've got lots of questions coming in now. Let's go. Oza from Nigeria wants to know what your inspiration is in My life. My inspiration in life? Uh... <laughs> That's a hard Order, question. straight lines, everything, <laughs> everything matching. Maybe something like that, or just like to do things, to do the things that I do as well as I can. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. As Antonio, quickly as you can. <laughs> Antonio Camper, we don't know where they're from, wants to know how big your cube collection is. How many? <laughs> Antonio, come back over here. We are live with Guinness World Records on Facebook here, and we have been talking to Felix, who has the most incredible collection of Rubik's Cubes, all different amazing types. There's Rubik's Cube lube to like to make them spin faster there are ones that are shaped like triangles we've got rubik's cube amazing uh trophies here we've got ones that have got so many different angles we've got ones that are different shapes it is crazy this is i don't know do you sleep a lot or are you just like because this is your room are you just like is it hard to to leave this side. <laughs> uh, yeah, so if I'm studying or something there, it's yeah. kind of tempting to just pick up a cube and stop doing it's that. Like mug. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Fabulous. Ones. Oh, I've got a whole bunch of other rounds up. So this is like a... We're also looking for Professor Rubik's, who I've been told is still alive. A recluse, but alive. Mm. I feel like someone must know him out there on Facebook. You need to get him. We need to... We want to meet uh -huh. him. I want to meet him. Josh, Josh wants so to know... Josh wants to know if you have any favourite Rubik's Cube tricks you can do. Who's keep tricks? Oh, I mean, my, the standard trick is just solving it. I'm gonna mess, I'm gonna mess it up. What's this one? No, so this, oh, this is just like a clock. Well, this is, this is oh, the temperature, yeah. the time, there's the alarm, the date, just lots, is, lots of other random stuff. That's fabulous. All right, where's, um, I'm gonna mess this up while, while we uh, and and take so some questions. Uh, if some people might have seen the guy on America's Got Talent recently who just did sort of Rubik's Cube magic and did a whole bunch of tricks and oh, stuff. Oh, and he juggled them? Uh, no, I think no. It, it was more like sleight of hand okay. kind of things, which were which were very cool, but I didn't really practice those. But uh, yeah, I guess my all I, my focus is just speed cubing, which is solving as fast as possible and improving fast. that. So what? So you've got eight world records. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the other ones? So there are I think there's seventeen different events in the World Cube Association competitions. Mm -hmm. um, and for each event, so for the Rubik's Cube, there's a single fastest record and then there's an average record. So the single fastest record is the fastest ever done in just one attempt, and then the average is the fastest average in, in a round. Mm -hmm. So for each category, there's two different types of records. So I've got the average for the 3x3 three three cube, um, the single and the average for the 5x5 the five five and the 7x7. Seven seven. Um, this is the family, the family of, of Rubik's Cubes. And the single for the 4x4 four four Rubik's Cube, as well as the single and the average for the one-handed solving. And, I know the answer to this, and it's amazing, 
so don't tell them. <laughs> Can you guess how many records Felix has broken? So he holds eight currently, but since when was the first one? How many years ago? Uh, six years ago. So six years ago he broke his first record. How many? Can you? It's it's amazing. I was very shocked. I thought that can't be right. They must have done a spell spell check. <laughs> I needed to check. <laughs> All right, there we go. I've messed this one up for you. Give another shot. We're going to get in close here. We just want to. See, yeah. See, yeah. this is. It's so fast. It's so fast. All right. Okay. Yeah, he's just doing his little memorization. Ready? Yep. time to check check the questions at that point. <laughs> that was very fast. Okay, so I've seen some people guessing um, how many uh, how many records you've broken. I saw a guess for sixteen. I saw a guess uh, for thirty, but they're not they're not close, are they? Right. We'll, we'll just let them we'll let them keep going. How many have you got? Any more guesses out there? Oh, we got twenty eight. We got thirty eight. Dennis thinks thirty eight. We got uh, Oscar thinks forty three. Josh thinks sixteen. Yeah, no, it's, it's more than that. It's more than that. Any other things I've missed in your Rubik's Cube room of magic uh, before we sign off? I've got a lot of Rubik's Cube coffee mugs and stuff this, like that. Oh, have you? What's, this is, what is this? Uh, this is a trophy from the 2013 World Championships in Las Vegas. Oh, I love Vegas. Yeah, Did you love Vegas? It was good fun. It was good yeah. fun. Um, it's just like a metal frame cube trophy, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. It's pretty basic. Yeah. It's cool. It's cool. It's quite amazing though, can't, can't move it around. Brilliant. So, we've got all the, we've seen all the different types of Rubik's Cubes. Oh wow! <laughs> this is good. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> this is still my favourite though, this is amazing. Temperature. Time. It's genius. I love that. <laughs> All right, we got, ooh, I think someone might have guessed it, actually. Oh, but I'm not going to tell you who it was. <laughs> Patrick thinks 70, Jasmine thinks 50, Yojit thinks 82, ooh, Eakin nice. thinks 93. We got, ooh. ooh, we got Aisha from Dubai. Ooh, she wants to know about an octagonal Rubik's Cube. What's that? Octagonal. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? that so special a, a room's here with like eight sides or something. Oh, yeah, maybe that's uh, something. Oh, yeah, that would be some sort of other puzzle. Like I this sort of thing? Yeah, so that one's got 12 sides. This one has four sides. The standard has six sides. So there's mm, probably so something out there with, with the eight sides. Special but. Middle Eastern edition out there. Gia, um, Gia Ying Ko wants to know where the craziest place you've cubed. The it's... craziest place I've cubed. I saw a video of you cubing in Mexico. Uh, yeah. Places here and there. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think. Top of my head. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, just random different countries around the world, I guess. Yep, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> so good. Have we got any more questions before we sign off? Alex Cunnell wants to know what your PB is for Megamix. I'm Megamix. not sure what that is. So Megamix is this one. Okay. Um, I don't have the records. I've got all the Australian records for this, but no, no world records. My PB at home is 34 or 35 seconds for, for a solve. What? Yeah. How do you do it that quickly? Just lots of practice, lots and lots of practice. That, there is a lot of practice going into this, hours every day, basically. Yeah. yeah. How many hours do you think you, that's a lot? In, if, in you go, if you go, years. on average, maybe one hour a day for eight years. Yeah, yeah. amazing. A lot. Brilliant. Felix, thank you so much for showing us all these amazing Rubik's Cube things today. It's no been worries. very, uh, Interesting. My mind is a little bit blown with all the combinations. I think I would have a headache if I was trying to do this for more than five minutes every day. <laughs> so on my sheet, I have got that Felix has broken over 86 records, which is insane. So he holds eight of them currently, but over the years of breaking them, breaking them. So that, how fast was it when you started? So when I started, the average world record was... Uh... Around 12 seconds, I think. Whoa! And so when I first broke it, I got under 10 seconds, so a 9.2 9 average, and now it's down to yeah, 6.4. Do you think it's going to get faster? It can still get faster, but not, not that much. Not, not a lot. Not, yeah. yeah, no, no. There's, there's still room for improvement. Amazing. Okay, well, thank you everyone for joining us. I just wanted to let you know that the next one, I needed to look up my notes because this is exciting. We'll be streaming live from New York City with Abraham Munoz, who has the fastest mile juggling a football. Can you believe that? That's 
Would you, would you try that one? No, <laughs> <laughs> and the new edition of the Guinness Book of World Records 2017 edition is in stores now so go and grab a copy there are lots of amazing new records in there every year there's all these amazing new records thank you so much for tuning in cool. thank you thank you brilliant cheers bye <laughs>